Before we get into today's video, a shout out to our sponsors at NordPass. As the world becomes more remote and technology starts to advance, NordPass is here to protect your passwords in a secure vault. Our mental health is influenced by our digital behaviors and cybersecurity is of most importance to keep our minds calm and secure. Password management can be a big help in that regard. Did you know 22% of respondents in the US and UK have been a victim of cybercrime? With the help of NordPass, they'll make sure you stay safe online and reduce your stress instead of increasing it. Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. Thank you so much for all the love that you've given us. Your ongoing support has helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. As a quick disclaimer, this video is meant for informative purposes only. Do not use the information in this video to diagnose yourself or others. Now, let's continue. We can all think of people throughout our lives that have done bad things. Have you or someone you know been manipulated or acted selfishly and disregarded the wants and needs of others? Or perhaps you've been exposed to someone who takes pleasure in other people's suffering. These are all toxic behaviors that hurt others. They are shocking tendencies that are not just isolated instances, but personality traits, specifically dark personality traits. Over the years, psychologists have noticed patterns and have narrowed down tendencies to four categories known as the dark tetrad. So what is the dark tetrad? The dark tetrad is an evolution of the dark triad, narcissism, psychopathy, and Machiavellianism. Now added to this list is sadism. These four traits are believed to serve as the core of humanity's dark side. Each trait is believed to be tied with one another, meaning that someone who shows one part of the tetrad is likely to showcase another. Each of the four traits is defined as follows. Narcissism, egocentrism, and a need for admiration. Psychopathy, lacking empathy and regard to ethics. Machiavellianism, manipulative and feelings of entitlement. Sadism, desire to hurt others mentally, emotionally, and or physically. With that said, here are seven signs of a dark tetrad personality. Number one, they have extremely selfish behaviors. When you are highly narcissistic, you put your own self-interest before others. You don't take how others feel into any type of consideration and you want for anything that you feel will benefit yourself first and foremost. Whether it's fame, prestige, or wealth, you don't wanna share it with anyone else but yourself. Number two, they lack empathy. Lacking empathy is a huge factor in the dark tetrad. When you lack empathy, you tend to hold little regard for the feelings of others. You see no problem in taking advantage of people and care very little for others' hardships. With low empathy and self-centeredness, you feel that the rest of the world doesn't matter and your selfishness always puts your own feelings ahead of others, no matter the situation. Number three, they try to spite you. When someone with the dark tetrad doesn't get their way, they can resort to nasty tactics to get back at you. They are willing to go out of their way to harm others for their revenge. Their selfishness, entitlement, and lack of ethics allows them to get back at others without an ounce of guilt. Number four, they feel entitled. Despite how horrible their actions and behaviors are, the dark tetrad feels that they are justified. With their selfish nature and lack of empathy, they feel that it's all right to use and abuse others for their own gain. They cannot accept responsibility or feel remorse for their actions because deep down, they feel that they're truly in the right. Number five, they're manipulative. When a dark tetrad personality type uses manipulation, they're using you as a means to an end. They don't care about what you want or feel. They just want to reach their own goals and will exploit you and deceive you to do so. They tend to act more calculated and show no remorse for their actions and may resort to actions that cause you extreme psychological, emotional, or physical strain in order to get what they want from you. Number six, they take pleasure in causing pain. Sadistic people, unfortunately, get pleasure out of hurting others. They may act physically, verbally, or emotionally violent in direct or indirect ways. Indirectly, they want to humiliate others, but more directly, they will intentionally inflict physical, sexual, or psychological pain and suffering on you in order to assert power and dominance or for pleasure and enjoyment. 
they typically have a long-standing pattern of cruel or demeaning behaviors towards others. And number seven, they're unethical. If someone has such little regard for others, they put themselves first in any situation and they use people to their advantage. It's also likely that they don't care for the principles of right and wrong. They don't care much for their own morality or the morality of their actions. This is what allows them to manipulate, hurt, and belittle you without any guilt or remorse. People with these traits may be unaware that they're different or are aware and they take pride in their awful behaviors. They might refuse to accept help or even acknowledge their bad behavior and continue to hurt people. So what do you think about the dark tetrad? Have you experienced anyone like this? Can you think of any other signs that we might've missed? Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.